Hello po sa inyong lahat. Si PJ po ito and I'm from Cebu. Bisaya ko ba and welcome to my YouTube channel, PJ Yo! Gumagawa po ako ng mga videos tungkol sa productivity tips, mga money making o yung mga sideline na income, mga food reviews, mga travel and movie reviews and a lot more. Iniimitahan ko po kayo na mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel at pakipindot na din po ng notification bell so that you will be updated of my latest videos. Today is our day 28 of our 30-day productivity challenge and for today guys, we will talk about habits. Ano ba ang habit? Ang habit is a routine of behavior that is repeated regularly and tends to occur subconsciously. Lagi nyo itong ginagawa every day, regular o part na ng inyong routine and most of the time, hindi nyo ito namamalayan na ginagawa nyo ito. Halimbawa guys, isipin nyo ano yung ginawa nyo for today. Pagkagising ng maaga, uminom agad kayo ng inyong coffee. Di ba? Yung favorite coffee nyo habang mainit pa. And of course, nag-check kayo ng mga updates sa cellphone ninyo. Di ba? And ano pa yung ginawa nyo? Like nag-check kayo ng Twitter for updates. Di ba? Madami mga updates ngayon. Mga news. And of course, nanood tayo ng uh, YouTube. Di ba? Especially, nandun tayo at nag-subscribe sa channel na PJ Yo. Madaming productivity tips doon guys and mga money making and food vlogs. And lastly, maaaring nanood tayo ng Chloe, di ba? Favorite natin sa Netflix o kaya yung Money Heist. Pagtapos natin ng lunch guys, yung madalas natin ginagaw is yung nagpa-power nap tayo, siesta. Nagbabasa ng favorite book natin habang uminom ng kape, di ba? And of course, yung iba mahilig sa mga romance stories ng Wattpad, di ba? Madaming fans nun. And of course, yung iba buong magdamag, naglalaro ng ML or Mobile Legends. And of course, lahat nag-check ng Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, di ba? And of course, yung bago ngayon guys, yung TikTok. Mad madami dyan nag-TikTok. And of course, yung iba guys naman ay nag-self-evaluate bago matulog, di ba? In short, lahat ng ginawa mo for the day na it seems automatic na sa inyo o nakagawian na, ito yung tinatawag na habits nyo. It is like part of your system na and that is why it is very hard to form and to give up. So in this video, you will understand more about how to form good and lasting habits. So that we will have a better understanding of how habit works, we should know it's Three elements, as discussed by Charles Duhigg in his book, The Power of Habit. The three elements are the cue or behavior trigger, the routine or the habit in action, the rewards or the benefit of the action. The first element natin is yung the cue or the behavior trigger. Ito yung nagpapaalala sa atin na may dapat tayong gawin. So, for example, yung notification from Twitter. Yung second element naman natin is the routine or the habit in action. Ito yung habit or action na dapat gagawin natin dahil sa trigger. So, yung example natin, i-open natin ang Twitter to check the updates kasi naka-receive tayo ng notification. So, in-open ko yung Twitter ko guys at ito yung mga trending ngayon, DJ Lunyo. Poverty is a Choice, Ivana, Supermoon, tsaka Ateneo. Alin kaya magandang i-open dito guys? The third element naman is the rewards or the benefits. So ano yung makukuha natin na satisfaction from the action? So in this case, we will be happy kung may mga bagong memes o kaya we will be updated of what is happening around us kung i-open natin ang Twitter. So ito guys, inopen ko yung Twitter at pinili ko yung updates for Ivana. So yun pala guys, apparently they have this uh, Jojo Wain challenge with DJ Lonyo. So yun yung latest guys, so nakakatuwa naman daw yung uh, mga videos nila. Kumbaga. Ngayon na may basic understanding tayo ng how a habit works, 
we should focus on the cue and the rewards to implement a new habit successfully. And alam nyo ba guys that it takes 90 days to form and maintain a new habit. So, laban lang tayo guys and I know we can do this. Pag-usapan na natin ngayon yung 5 steps to create the habits that will last. So, simulan na natin. First step natin is to understand your why. Dapat ito talaga yung una sa lahat guys. Dapat alam nyo kung bakit nyo gustong magbago. Pag-isipan nyo talaga ng mabuti. Ask yourself why and what is your motive. Isipin mo you are doing this for yourself o kaya for your family. Dapat gusto nyo talaga yung pagbabago. Otherwise, it will be extremely difficult. Dapat firm kayo dahil ito yung tatayong base or foundation niyo nyo guys. Pagpagod na kayo. Ito yung babalikan nyo kung bakit nyo sinimulan. Otherwise, you are bound to fail. Yung second step is be specific and focused. Pag gumawa kayo ng new habit, it should be specific and measurable. Hindi pwedeng general habit like I want to live happier, healthier, or richer. Dapat may goal or target kayo. Example is, I want to be healthy by running or jogging at least 3 km every 5 in the morning. Yung third step naman is to review your existing routine. So, isusulat nyo yung normal routine na ginagawa nyo for the day. From that list, isipin nyo kung saan nyo pwedeng ipasok yung panibagong habits nyo. Start with smaller or tiny habits muna, like learning how to cook healthier meals every lunchtime. Example, every morning habit nyo na manood ng YouTube. So, pwede kayo mag-set ng alarm or reminder to watch healthy cooking shows so that you will learn how to cook healthier meals. Yung fourth step naman natin is be accountable. Dapat 100% committed kayo to your new habits to be successful. You can create a daily tracker na nakalist doon yung everyday na dapat nyong gawin. Kahit simpleng check or X mark lang and may notes na kalagay kung ano ang nangyari, bakit di nyo na-accomplish at paano nyo ito maiiwasan. Have an accountable body na mapagsasabihan mo tungkol sa habits na gusto nyong gawin. Pwede ito yung partner mo sa buhay, kaibigan, kapatid, or parents, o kahit yung office mates mo. Sila ang magsisilbing reminder mo o katuwang mo sa pag-achieve ng bagong habits. Ang last step natin is to reward yourself. It is very important po dahil ang reward ang final component o element ng pagbuo ng habit. Rewards can be kahit yung pinakasimpleng pat on the shoulders o kaya yung good job remarks each time you complete a habit. It could be eating your favorite food o kaya magbakasyon sa favorite tourist destination or getting that gadget as gift to yourself. Kumbaga, eyes on the prize lang po tayo. Ayun, natapos din natin ang discussion tungkol sa habits. Subukan po natin yung potential ng pagbabago o ang pag-form ng new habits to make positive changes to this world, to yourself, and to other people around you. Let's give value to our time dahil limitado lang ito. Huwag lang tayo autopilot every day but instead, strive to become a better you. Thank you very much po for watching my video. I hope you have learned something new today, something that you can use. And of course, I hope I will see you again in my upcoming videos. So please don't forget to subscribe 
and hit that notification bell. Madami pa po tayong pag-uusapan. So, see you again next time.